what you need. All right, all right, okay. that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We, we can't. We, that's it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, James. It. That's it. That's <laughs> it. You get just the taste. Okay. Get it. Okay. Giving them a taste. You know what I'm saying? It was. It, let, go, go ahead and start it. Go ahead and start the interview. Cause I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm too yeah. excited. <laughs> so we got I James go. King James worthy in the building on Piff Radio. So welcome, King James. Welcome, man. How man, you doing? Thank y'all for having me, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. So we're gonna get right into the first question. So who is King? Because I say James King. Worthy. Oh. Right, King. The King. Man. You know what I'm saying? Is, King. Is, okay. Man, um, I'm just a creative. You know what I mean? I'm I'm from Queens, New York. Uh okay. I've always been around art. You know, I've always been around music. I've always been around culture. You know what I mean? So mm. just at a young age being exposed to all of that, um, types of artistic expressions um it was just I always tell people it was like the inevitable for me to want to be in the entertainment business and um that's always been in me you know what i mean so it always transitioned into different formats so you know it started off from songwriting to uh music production to now artistry gotcha gotcha that's what's up so all right we don't we don't say where you're from but now i'm gonna ask this question though how was how was it like growing up in Queens, New York. I know a lot of people from Queens. I know a lot, a lot of people in New York. My mom was from the Bronx and everything like that. But yeah. how was it like growing up in um in Queens, New York? Man, it was fun. It was fun, fast paced. Um, just a lot going on. A lot of um, cultural activities. Of course, a lot of music. Um, I was just mm -hmm. always blessed enough to be around so many different people um, at a young age. You know, a lot of legendary artists, um, a lot of musicians, a lot of songwriters just being around it, you know, so um, that was a blessing. Oh, OK. Gotcha. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, I, I know some people, man, they they, they says, you know, as far as growing up in New York, they say, you know, it's it's, it's kind of tough. Well, not kind of tough. It is tough. You know what it I'm saying? Tough. It is tough. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But, but they say it is a lot of like it, you get a lot of inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Because of this, the birthplace of hip hop, a lot of things that started a lot of musicians and, and artists and actors, like a lot of creative people that came out of New York. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So with that saying, with that saying, so what inspired you to start doing music and film? Now we see mm -hmm. that you're in a film world. So what's that? What, what, what made you start doing both? Like what inspired you to both? Um, well, you know, I was always a big fan of music. Um, very, very young, you know, so I think that was like the, the foundation of me just wanting to be somebody in the entertainment period, you know, whether it was music, whether it was television, film, whatever it was that I felt like I wanted to display artistically. Um, okay. That was the the start of it. And how I got into film was just more so just being at the right places at the right time. Mm. Um, you know, whether it turned into film scoring or, or sync licensing mm -hmm. for songs that I've written or produced for other people and my own music as well. Um, that was like the start of it before I even got into acting. So that was like really the last piece of the puzzle. Gotcha. Okay. Got you. Mm. That's dope. So you actually started music before you started your acting career. Right. Okay. That's gotcha. dope. Yeah, that was, that, that was okay. that's dope. So so okay. So I'm you know, I'm gonna jump around a little bit, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this right. this particular question, right? Let me let me go to it. So I got the film. You got the film, so I'm I'm gonna go he, to this question. He wanted about the film because he yeah, like, got I want to be. So pee. so, what artist was your favorite collab? Because I see you collab with a lot of a lot of artists, uh, uh, King James. I seen I seen I seen you yeah. collab with a lot of artists, a lot. I'm looking at this EBK dog. I'm like, okay, <laughs> a lot, bro. It's okay. A lot. So I, I, what that's was your, what hard was your to answer, man? That's that's always a hard question because, uh, you know, I work with so many people and they all have different ways of working. You know, they mm -hmm. all got different personalities different vibes, different genres, you know, like I think, I think that's what like a lot of, a lot of what set me apart early on was that I wasn't stuck in a box as far as a genre. Like I always that, to, like do right. it. Mm. It wasn't just, it wasn't just hip hop. It wasn't just R and B. Like I wanted to do hip hop, R and B, soul music, pop music, EDM, dance, Oh, you want to do everything. Oh, he's everything. everything. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Can I ask my question out? Could I ask my question out off of that? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Can I do it? Go ahead, Shay. Go, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. But, okay. First of all, because you said a, cute, a few little cute keywords here. 
Now, your zodiac sign wouldn't happen to be a Gemini or an Aquarius. No, no. Actually, I'm an Aries. Oh, Aries. Oh, yeah, Aries. Oh, really? Aries. Oh, really? Wow. Really? That oh, would make yeah, yeah. sense. Yeah, that makes a sense. A serial entrepreneur want to do everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Aries game. <laughs> look, yeah, look, he like, no, not the Aries. Aries. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gonna be a little selfish. No, I'm, sorry, I'm just man. saying that y'all gonna be a little. Aries. Oh man, a, a little yeah. bit, a little bit, a little bit, uh, uh, James, a little bit. <laughs> Aries, you know, he, he bought that business stuff. You know, as you can oh, yeah. hear, he yeah, bought yeah, that business. That business. You know, yeah, yeah, really. heck yeah, heck yeah. All so. day, gotta have a bag. You know, gotta have a certain acquire. A, it's a certain level that they set for themselves. It's like this inner type of thing, goal that they set to go out and do and they just go. Mm -hmm. They're fiery. Yeah, yeah. Aries are leaders. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. we all have yeah. the mentality of, you know, we we strive but nothing but the greatest. You know what I mean? Right. And we, we want to be, you know, great at what we do. True. Sometimes true. though, y'all have to learn to be able to delegate um, That's true. Because, because a lot of times y'all be wanting to do every dang long thing, right? You want to do everything, and it's and you don't feel like nobody can do it like you can. Okay, you feel like if I get this, you you gonna, you know, you gonna and, mess and, this and up. Feel like you know the mind of an artist or or a creative. You know mm -hmm. you you once you're a creative and you're you're you know in that creative mode of how you do things, it's hard to let go some of that obligation or that responsibility to somebody else because you don't know if they're going to do it the same level as you right 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 that's what yep. now go yep. now going a little bit off the topic is is that the brooklyn bridge behind you yes it is yes it is <laughs> yeah i brooklyn remember that bridge that bridge looks real familiar i'm like wait a minute i <laughs> ran across that bridge a couple times like, brooklyn, brooklyn okay familiar. you're brooklyn yeah, like back home brooklyn so where you so actually actually where are you from in new york city Oh, man, I'm uh, I'm uh right off uh Linden Boulevard. Okay. Linden okay. Boulevard. Are you are you in New York now? The Heights, to be honest with you, because because really I was really uh between both sides, but Cambria Heights, right right uh probably about five minutes away from um uh Jamaica Avenue, okay. and I spent a lot of time you know off of Linden Boulevard as well at a young that's, age. That's what's up. So All are right. you are you in New York now? Right now? No, no. Actually, I live in Atlanta now. Hey! Hey! So okay, so I'm I'm asking this question. So as a New Yorker, how long how long you been living in Atlanta? Man, I've been in Atlanta for a good ten years now. Oh, okay, wow. so by, so you got here the same time I got here. Okay, so because um I live in Atlanta, Shay Shay's my fiance. We live in Atlanta. We you know we live okay. on the East Side. Okay. East Side shout it got you know goddamn you know can't say all that. Okay, okay. <laughs> so now as a New Yorker living in Atlanta, how do you like Atlanta? Like how how do how did you did you adjust? Because I noticed like a lot of New Yorkers. Um, quite a bit, and I say a lot, but quite a bit. They end up coming down, stay a couple of years, and then they end up moving back to New York. You know what I'm saying? Or they end up moving out of Atlanta. So how did you know? How do you adjust as a New Yorker? How did you adjust to the Atlanta lifestyle and the culture and everything like that? Man, um, I mean, it, it definitely took some getting used to. You know, when I first got to Atlanta, you know, it's real spaced out. You know, you got to drive everywhere, long distance. Mm -hmm. Everything is about thirty minutes away. Uh -huh. Right, right. I had to really get used to that and um just the cultural change you know it was, it was just a different energy even though i was always back and forth from atlanta to, to new york and other places it didn't really feel too disconnected but you know okay. once you live some somewhere you know you just gotta you know roll with it so um you know i got used to it and um i started to to like it That's all right so i got a question for you um coming from brooklyn um you know brooklyn has a heavy a heavy uh heavy with uh you know chef g sleepy hollow 22 g's a lot of new rappers coming out is really heavy in the drill scenes um even to the part where even the bronx with ron suno and k flock um you know they're also taking over on the bronx side with the drill how do you actually feel about the drill scene um because it's actually been crazy you know the um mm, yep. you know they're calling it they're saying the drill scene is the whole reason why the murder rate's going back up mm. um in new york so how do you feel about that being a new yorker um I mean, it's cool, you know what I mean? But I think it's just like any other type of 
if you want to call it genre or style mm -hmm. of music, right. like, you know, it's always going to be in it, then it's going to eventually fade out or, mm -hmm. or eventually change. You know right. what I mean? Because right. music is always changing and evolving to something else. Um, so that's just the time that we're in right now. But I think something else is going to, you know, evolve into something else. So um, mm. even though it's unfortunate that people are losing their lives and, and you know, et cetera. Right. But I mean, it's nothing different from when when we had, um, you know, groups like N.W.A. and, right. and Death Row Records and, and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, right. It's not like history repeating itself all over yeah. again, right? Yeah, yeah. I, gotcha. de I definitely, definitely agree with that. It just, you know, it's been different for a long time because you know New York has a very y'all guys don't know it has a very strict gun law. Like what, per bullet is five years. Very, yeah. very Jeez. strict gun law. Dang. Very, I, 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 thought, I thought Florida yeah, had. A, I thought Florida yeah. had a strict gun law. Basically, Man, you get strict. caught with a loaded weapon. You you pretty much down and out. You get caught with a loaded weapon. That's a fact. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. So I, I, I'm gonna ask you this another question. You know, I, I don't like throwing names around, but one name did stick out to me, right? You know what I'm saying? Because he was one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite producers. So, what was it like working with Swiss Beats? I see you had work with Swiss Beats. What was it like Swiss working with him? Beats? Shout out to Swiss, man. Shout out to Swiss. Hey, Swiss is cool, man. Um, I actually met Swiss Beats through uh, Dragline. And, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Dragline, oh. my uh, my Kaleidoscope's EP. Mm -hmm. And um, really, it was just that. Like, I got a chance to 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 meet with him. Uh, we um, did some co-production together okay. on uh, on some stuff. So, um, cool guy, real solid. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, you do you like producing? What, what do you like doing best, producing or writing? Mm -hmm. no, like what? Like what? Like yes. what? Like, yeah, I love him. Like producing, right? I, I love them equally. You know what I mean? Because you really can't have one without the other for yes. for, gotcha. for a masterpiece. Okay. You know what gotcha. I mean? Gotcha. Um, you know, when when I create, you know, I think about both sides. You know, I, okay. I can't I can't create a hit record or or a masterful record if I don't have the right production. And mm. I can't create a masterful song if I don't have the right lyrics and the right content right. and the right mm. melody. You know what I mean? So all of all of those things go together. Gotcha. Now do you now do you take the same approach when you're doing Cause you, cause you, I know, I'm pretty sure you did like sync licensing with film, you know what I'm saying? Most, you know, uh, as well. Right. So yeah. now do you, do you take like this, that same approach when like, okay, if, if a studio or, or a film company say, Hey, I would like to, for you to create this type of music. Now, do you take that same approach? Cause I know it's a little different than creating a song for listeners than the pose of creating a song for that goes into a film or something like that. Do you take that same like um, approach? It could be a little bit different because, you know, a film company can uh, give you strategic guidelines of what they actually want. want okay. Right. They want it to sound like or, you know, we need this specific style of music bed for this scene or whatever. Like it's not Back. necessarily song format. Right. Or if you if they're trying to just do sync licensing for a certain style of song, then it has to fit directly with that criteria. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, gotcha. Working. So. Gotcha. So did did you have to did you have to go back and be like, did they have to come back and say, hey, yeah, you know, yeah, James, we, we like this, but you know, we want you to do another version of it. And and oh yeah, for how, sure. how, like how many versions you have did of one song? Like how many you could think on top of your head? Like if, how many you have like was, if it was dealing with sync licensing or 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 um film scoring, at least probably 10 revisions. Ooh, oh wow, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. wow, okay, wow, okay, especially with yeah. film scoring, it's really, really particular. Pretty killer yeah yeah it's right. really really I, I mean i i can't i mean i i do act myself um so i do have i do have some acting questions um um dang i, I think i had one shay where's my acting question at man where, <laughs> where's that where's my questions at there you, you go i got i got you so what, what actors you. there you go Carver. go ahead so what actor inspired you the most oh uh, actor inspired me the most um well denzel washington is definitely on the top I was yeah. thinking that. I was thinking Denzel, that. Definitely Denzel, Denzel, Denzel type of guy. One of those guys who, man, um, he could just play anything to me. You know what I mean? He he could just mm. lock into a role, and and really make it believable. Mm. Um, yeah. I, I yeah. admire that a lot. Um, man, um, it's so many. Uh, uh, Clint Eastwood. Um, wow. Okay. 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 Um, okay. 
you know, yeah. just, just really guys that like open the envelope when it comes to a role, you know, mm. what I mean? like and, and right. really ones that could really sell the role. Now, yeah, a lot of people you. say that Denzel really doesn't, he plays the same roles, you know, bad guy, good cop, bad cop. He plays the same roles, right? They, they say he doesn't really change, but in every movie he is, he's a, he plays the same role, but he plays it differently every single time. That's in true. my opinion, um, the, you know, we've seen it in time and time movie again. Like you got, there's plenty of movies that he got. I can't think of them all the top of my head because you know, I, I'm still stoked off the fact that he was producing with Swiss Beast. Like I'm still lost on that. Like when I heard <laughs> right, that, I'm like, right. yo, this is crazy. Like, right, right. Well, you know, but, um, was, I had, so my cool. question was, I did have a question. My bad, Seth. No, you good. So go ahead. my question was, uh, in regards to Denzel, right? We had me and Shay Speaks had a live about this a while ago. Shay's know what I'm talking about. It's Denzel versus Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Now, who would you pick in acting? Now, I chose Denzel, but a lot of people chose Will Smith, and that and that was the reason being behind it. Uh, was because they were saying that Denzel plays the same role every time. It doesn't really change out his character. So um, mm. I want to know, what, out of those mm. two gentlemen, who would you pick? Because I like that one. That's, that's a tough one because Will Smith is definitely one of my favorites as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they both are actors that can sell a role. But mm. I, think, I think probably Denzel a little bit more because to me, it, the the feeling that I get when I watch him play a certain role, it's it's believable. Like mm. I feel like that's actually him. Him, right? Like you know that's I mean? he's, he's the person. Yes, he's, right. And that's hard to do. You know, it's it's hard to really like invest yourself into someone else. Right. Camera. Right, right. I, I I'm gonna go off the limb. I, I love Denzel. He's a Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? I had to put that out there. But um, <laughs> but. I like Will. Reason why I will, I will put Will Smith slightly over Denzel because Will Smith played in a, you know, he played as a superhero and he played Seven. in a superhero movie. So until I he see this, he wasn't a superhero. He was no, he was he was in um, uh, uh, what's the name? The um, the, the he was in <laughs> Disney, superhero. Suicide Squad. So what I'm saying, so what I'm saying is that until I see Denzel in a Marvel movie. I got to see him. I got to see he's him. He's a big movie. superhero. You know, you I know, got this. So yeah, he's a superhero. He's a, big, right. he's a different type of superhero. Like, like, I mean, he, hell, he was, um, what was it? The, uh, what was the, the, uh, the movie he did? Um, Equalizer. Yeah, that's it. Equal, oh, yeah. He, he, Equalizer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, yeah. He was like an mm -hmm. ant. Yeah. 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 He was I, like, he was technically, I, he was the black John Wick. Hello. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, but, he killed that. He killed yeah, that. Nah, nah, he, nah, he did. Credit, man. But but I, I gotta see him in a Marvel movie, man. Until I see him in a Marvel and DC movie, then I, I'm I'm gonna say, okay, Denzel, you got it. You you on top. Okay, but what about American Gangster though? Thank you. That was a great role. That was a great role. He he did it. He did his thing. He so could it. you could you see Will Smith playing that role? American Gangster. Yeah. No, nah, nah, absolutely nah, right. Nah, Hell nah, nah. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> I just had to put that. Out. Nah, right. nah, I, I couldn't see him playing that role. Uh, so all right. So what? Um, are there any pro uh, projects you 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 working on right now? Um, Man, I see that you got a group. So many projects right now. Um, actually, yesterday I have a record that just dropped that I'm featured on. Uh, with an artist by the name of Trub. Uh, the record record is called Side. So um, it's available now. Of course, I got my current single, uh, TikTok, featuring Big Gip, a goodie mob that's available right now. Yeah. I'm working on my debut album for 2022, so I'm excited about that. Uh, so that's going to be really, really a, a big project for me. Let's go, bro! Yeah, that's, let's what go. that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm so I'm gonna ask about I'm gonna ask about the the TikTok video. It was a great, it was a dope video with Big Gip. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna ask about this one particular scene. Whose idea was had the, the 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 girl in the video to hit the guy over the head? Like that was your idea, or that was like the director? <laughs> like who who said that? You know, I got a great idea. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying who idea that you was? Know what the the premise of the video is is pretty much uh, a jury heist. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm I'm coming from somewhere. You got this this uh, expensive watch, and um, I was seeing this 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 young lady for quite some time. She's been over my house already. She knew where things was. So obviously she was hired by somebody to, to you know, do the job. Right. And um, yeah, she she took me out. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie to you, James. Like I said, I'm really good at acting for me. I've been in two music videos for me. If you definitely need a guy with a ski mask, I'm your guy. You feel me? Definitely your guy. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I was I was like, man, he hit the, she hit that guy over the head. I was a couple of times. I was like, God, that, that surprised me. I was like, I like to be surprised. I was like, oh wow, she hit him over the head with the oh and and took off. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's definitely yeah, it's definitely was a was a great video. So working with hey, Big Gip, hey. you know what I'm saying? Legendary Big Gip Goody Mob, you know what I'm saying? Lana. That's you know, so Atlanta. I mean, come on, you can't get no better than that. So, how was it like working with with, with the legend? You know, what I'm saying, how was you know? Man, shout out to Big Gip, man. That's like my big brother, man. Uh, you know, shout out to the whole Goody Mob as well. That's like my fam. And um, man, I met Goody Mob. Well, really, I met I met the other members like years ago, but okay. I really got cool with with Gip last year. Um, I was in a studio uh, with Corrupt. Okay. And, um, you know, him and Corrupt is really 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 good friends. And um, literally me and Corrupt are in the studio. He calls Gip randomly and says, hey, I got big Gip coming by the studio. And I never met Gip before like that. So this is the first time we're meeting. We actually all did a song together. And that was the beginning mm. of Gip's relationship. And, um, you know, I asked him, hey, man, I would love for you to be a part of my album. And that's when we created TikTok. And oh, uh, oh. we have been working ever since. Gotcha. So y'all y'all did that video. I'm I'm assuming in in California, correct? Yes, yes we did. Gotcha, gotcha, got. Yeah, I saw the palm trees. Palm okay. trees. Yeah. yeah, I saw. That's not Miami. So I say see some mountains. So I was like, okay, got to be California. You know. What yeah, I'm yeah, Seth called that. He called that for sure. Yeah. He said it's California in the first. <laughs> it's Cali right. He shot it in California. I right, know right, right, right. I was like, he that's shot it in the Cali. <laughs> that's what's up. Now, so how how was it like even shooting? Uh, that video in California, like how? Matter of fact, how how was different? How how was it different shooting videos here in Atlanta and shooting? And you shot a video in California, like how was that? Like what was the what was the difference? Was it, it was great, film? man. It was, it was great. Just a different energy, different vibe. Great weather, you know, beautiful. You know what I mean? Um, it was just something that I just wanted to do. Just of course for a change of scenery, but just a different vibe, different mood. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what's up. So now I I I hear that you got a group, right? Uh, was it King? Was it King two time, right? That's yeah, yeah, that was that was actually, uh, you know, uh, myself and another gentleman by the name of Nova. Okay, and um, we were actually a duo group in 2017, and uh, we put out one single called Wine for Me, which debuted at number 10 on Billboard. Mm. And uh, this is the first time I was ever on a song as an artist, period. Really, yeah, so, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, King James, wait a minute. That was your first time on a song, and it went number. It went it got all the way to ten. And it went first, to 10 first on the Billboard. Wow, first time ever. that's dope. That's really dope. But your perfectionist by nature, right, 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 right now. Right. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna look for that. Um, Definitely look for that. I'm looking for it right now. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. So King Kings X Two Wine for me. Um, it did very well. You know, it it surprised both of us. You know what I mean? Um. I didn't expect it to do it that well uh, that early, you know what I mean? Mm. Especially for, for it to be my first song, you know, as an artist, gotcha. um, which was a blessing. So that was, you know, the, the tip of the iceberg, you know, for, for me as an artist. Okay. So did, did, did he, did both of you guys write on that or did you do most of the writing or did he do, Dover did most of the writing or was like, um, actually both of y'all the writing. how that song came about was, it was an idea that he already had. Okay. And it was a producer that he was working with prior uh, to us even uh, coming out with the idea of even using the song. So I just kind of um, came at the tail end and, and you know, uh, re redid the hook and, you know, redid a couple of things on there and, and we just put it together. Okay. But initially it was his idea. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay. That's, that's what's up. So All right. now, with the with the other stuff like the television, um, like let's um, I'm gonna go like Hip Hop Atlanta. Did you did you you was in Hip Hop Atlanta or did you like do some music for them? No, I was actually on those shows. Um, I was on those shows as a special guest, uh, musician and producer. Okay, uh, working mm -hmm. with okay. certain artists that were you know highlighted on the show. Right, and, uh, you know just right. your life and you know how we create cr you know create records. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's that's what's up, man. I'm just shy that so, you was here in Atlanta. I'm just right. still, like it been so many people here, and I guess without the world of social media, we wouldn't even know. You'd be like, "What? You here? You here too? Oh my god! I would right. have never ran so into I, you." <laughs> so I have. So I do have a question. So I can get more. So we get a more understanding of your personality in yeah. the actor spec. What actor has your personality, 
or what that's actor that's my person yeah now. like or, or or like or like a movie role that they played that is um like that. you know it's is is more is more of your style you know what i'm saying like um mm, could, that's, a good be, that's a good question i would oh, say you, maybe you. maybe like a um maybe like a michael ely or mm, okay um He's very chill, chill, laid back guy. Yeah, yeah, just just someone like that who you know, chill, laid back, but you could turn up as well. Yeah. Gotcha, hey, gotcha. you from New York? You better turn up. No, we Ashley, turn Jerry, up, right? you know, Can I get a yeah? Don't get it twisted. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. Okay, the New York come out of. Okay, hold on. Right, right. right. Like, yo, son. Right, yo, yo son. Yo, <laughs> yo, that, you heard work some my yeah, mother. We in the building, yes, sir. Work yeah. the That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. Now, have That's you have you up. now have you ever acted in a film and did the music? You're like, okay, you know, or no, you're like, I haven't done that yet. I haven't done okay, both gotcha. in one film yet. Uh, but that's definitely a goal um, that I'm going for, especially for 2022. Uh, gotcha. That's that's definitely the goal. Gotcha. I always wonder that because I I know I, I do know a lot of lot of you know actors and that do, do music as well. And I was wondering, do do the, like the directors or you know, I want to when they find out that you're an artist. As well, you know, I want to do the ads. Hey, can you do a, you know, a, a, a lead song or something in, in the film? I want. It, I always it wonder depends. that. It, it depends on on who's over the project. You know, who's who's actually the the program director over the music, or 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 who's the actual uh, film director. You know, it's calling the shots. You know, it's, it's all about who you know. Gotcha, gotcha. That's what's up. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask one last question before we get to the hobby's question. Now on TikTok, like who produced that beat? Like who did that track? Oh man, uh, shout out to my producer Ronell Sessoms. He's pretty much my go-to producer for all of my music. Which a lot of people don't even realize. I don't produce a lot of my own music. Mm -hmm. Interesting, Interesting thing. Um, right, right. Ronell has pretty much produced a lot of my stuff. Uh, with the exception of one of my singles entitled Gold Mine, which is uh, me and Jay Holiday. Um, okay. I produced that record myself, but gotcha. pretty much all the other records you guys have heard has been uh, through other producers. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, it's, it's always a weird thing. Like, I produce too. I, I, I've been producer as well. And it's always a weird thing that it's like getting, quote unquote, getting high on your own supply. Like, I don't want to rap on, you know, sing or write to this. I'd rather... Yeah give it to somebody else. And then if somebody else produce something, I would take that and do my, you know what I'm saying? It's almost kind of like that, that kind of thinking, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to rap on my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know it's dope, but I, I still don't, I want to give that, you know, give that to somebody else and let them take, you know, exactly. they think on. you know what I'm saying? It's always that weird thing. You know what I mean? Cause I, I don't like, you know, I don't rap or nothing like that no more, but I don't like rapping on my own. Never did, really did. I had to because I couldn't find no producers, but, you know, once I started finding producers and stuff like that, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna rap on my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, you know, and, and that's the same thing with me. You know, I just wanted to give other, you know, producers and musicians opportunities, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and also I uh, wanted to take the the responsibilities off of me a little bit. You know, I didn't want to uh, be the person to, to be having to do everything, you know, produce that them, delegate, them, that them, delegate. Them, right, them, right. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted to be fully artist mode. Gotcha, right. gotcha, gotcha. All right, Javi. So go ahead and ask that question, Javi. I forgot. <laughs> oh wait. All right. Before, he said before he I forgot ask, before I ask my famous question. Before I ask my famous question, because he's from New York. This is a New York question. Oh my God. Uh James, who do you got making your sandwich in the morning? Do you got Poppy at the bodega or do you got Ock at the spot? Who do you got? Oh, all the time, Bodega. Okay, that's what I'm Bodega. talking about. Okay, okay. They 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 uh, they've been saying that the young the young op that be that be in the store that be cutting school. He they, they say he make the best sandwiches. You know yeah. what, man? And I mean that goes for a lot of stuff. Like it's always the hole in the wall spots or the spots you don't yep. even mm -hmm. know about that got mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. right. A comedian said that too. Comedians say like, man, it's always like the 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 spots like in the hole in the wall in a bad neighborhood who. Yeah, has the, the best food, you know what I'm saying? It's all it, it's true, it's crazy, you know. It's like I always say the best barbecue is when you see the cook, he all dirty. <laughs> oh, sweaty, all got the right. sweat rag on, right? Oh, right. You're like, man, oh, man, man dirty is putting in work, yeah, man. Yeah, like, man he, putting in work, work, <laughs> like, man, he all dirty right. as hell, god damn it. But man, that barbecue sauce hitting, boy, whoo, you know what what I'm, I'm telling you. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask the infamous Piff Radio question. It's Javi the pilot. I ask everybody that comes on Piff Radio this question. This is my famous question. Um, do you like pineapples on your pizza? 
James. You know what, man? I'm not really a big pineapple. I know he was going to say that shit. I know he was going to say that. <laughs> let's he wasn't go, James. Let's go. Yeah. Tied, tied one for one. Okay. I can't okay. do it. I can't do it, man. I knew he was going to say it. I knew he was going to say it. No pineapples on pizza. Boo, Boo King oh, James. Boo. Your mouth. Yeah, no, it's it, not. It's yes, it much. is. It, it, it attacks your mouth. It's bad for your yeah. mouth. No, it's not. No, it's not for humans. Talking? It's not for us. It's for it's for the animal. You eat meat, meat and meat is not for humans. How about that? Yeah, you but, you know, <laughs> but, but pepperoni and toppings don't go well with pineapple. That's why you just get pineapple. You don't put no other. No, no, no. It's just yeah, cheese and olives. Talk to it, James. And olives. Talk to it. And olives. Yeah, you put pineapple and olives on. James, you know what I'm saying? You don't put the pine just the pineapples. But no. Yeah, we can't do the pineapple, man. It's it's, uh, too much, it's too much contrast. You you got the you got the sweet pineapple juice on top of the. But see, it's baked with it, so it don't have the juice. The juice not even gonna be like that. That's what I'm saying. It's not like they they open the pineapple and dip the right juice and, on the and drop. We're not, <laughs> we not trying it. It doesn't matter. It's disgusting. Oh no, we're good. We're not. Look, we're we, good over here. We, we traditional New Yorkers. We like regular slices. Talk to them. Talk to them. They don't understand, man. Let's go. Well, I'm from East Side Shawty, so I'm down here in Atlanta, so yeah, we don't. Look, in Atlanta, in this spot in Atlanta that I go to, that I'm the same way. I need a regular slice. Like pizza. But the pizzas ain't like that in New York. I, I don't see them in New York pizzas, you know. I ain't been to New York yet, far as like to the New York City, but I don't see those pizzas in New York, and they look really good. They do. So I'm, I'm, oh, I'm they, yeah. interested. You interested. go to the right spot, you good. And they'll yeah. put pineapples on my pizza in New York. I mean, if you want it. Oh, okay. I mean, if you want, they probably gonna go outside in the back and grab it from the trash can. So, <laughs> whatever. They better not do that. Nah, I ain't gonna do that, yeah. man. Nah, I ain't gonna do nah, that. Shout out that. to New they York. Shout out to LY, man. All right, Say. man. Hey, listen, James, it was a pleasure, man. So, oh, man, thank y'all for having me, man. Yeah, it was definitely Always, fun. Man. Uh, so, before you go, uh, we, what we need is your social media handles and uh, if you have any websites or you know, sure. where the artists can really find you. Um, so everybody can follow me all social media pages at King James Worthy. Uh, you can also um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is James Worthy Music on YouTube. And uh, you can go to my website, which is JamesWorthyMusic.com. And uh, yeah, man, uh, you can find all my releases, um, all DSP, Spotify, Apple, Tidal, Pandora, whatever DSP you have, it's available. And uh, yeah, man, just stay tuned to the movement. That's what's up. That's man. a That's fact. Up. Actually, you know what's coming up next. We definitely need a drop, but before you give the Piff Radio drop, can I, you got to put a year in there for me, James. You got to do it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That was dope. Yes, sir. Let, let me get that Piff Radio drop. Yo, man, this is James Worthy. I want to give a big, big shout out to Piff Radio. I appreciate y'all having me. It's Humble Sound Music Group. You dig Humble Greatness. Yes, do, sir. Do, Let's do. Go. Let's go. <laughs> you are so <laughs> you are so crazy, man. <laughs> right. he is so I animated. love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, James. That, that's what I do. Pre hey, James. Appreciate you, man. You in Atlanta, man. Listen, man. Make sure, man, if you got any shows coming up, yeah. sure. anything you coming up, man, let us know. You know, me and Shay, we in Atlanta, man. You know, we all oh, man. I'm, I would definitely hit y'all personally, man, because um next year when we drop the album. We're doing a huge, huge album release for next year. So nice. it's going to be probably the biggest event in Atlanta. So I definitely need y'all to be here. Hey. Oh, yeah, please, no, please let, please let hey. them know, man. We'll come out of support, man. And also email us, um, the, send me an EP3 of the, uh, of the single on TikTok. Oh, yeah, I, run, sure. I, I got a, uh, um, I run a, a um, special hour on a, um, on indie radio hour. show, the indie, indie hour on Wednesday for 7 to 8. And I play all indie music. And Dope. uh man, man, send me the music, man. I'll get that on the play and spin. We'll start spinning. I got it. you. I got you. No problem. Eighty hours hot. Don't miss out. That's, what, that's what's up. Appreciate, appreciate your King James Worthy singer, songwriter, oh, producer. Man, this man do everything. He's an Aries doing his thing. Do actor. Don't forget acting, man. Acting too. Singer, singer, star, everything. everything. That's what's up, man. Appreciate that's you, man. Watching. Thank you. I'll be safe, man. For you sure. Too. Deuces. Hey, man, go train TikTok, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that was good. That was, that was good. Dope. Where, where, where Jay at? That was, was good. All right. We brought yeah, Jay back you know? in. Yeah. Hey. You on mute, Sorry, boy. Boss man, he got a fresh cut. 
Right, he went and got a haircut. He got a haircut. I ain't got no haircut. Haircut? My phone is like on one percent. It's been on one one percent the whole interview. Come back in your mustache twice as clean. What happened? Right, right. What talk about? But he went and got a haircut. Man, talking about it's one percent. We all right. I got I got a good shape up. You know what I'm saying? Before I. You see <laughs> nah, that was good shit though. Good shit. Yeah, that was a good interview. That was good. That was. That good. was really good. The first hit, one. Stop sure. recording. Stop recording. <laughs>